Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Katerina Karapsulu from FAO, and I'm happy to welcome you to this short demo on Caliber. Caliber is a uh, FAO uh, service for disseminating classif uh, statistical classifications. It's uh, accessible from this uh, URL, fao.org slash statistics slash Caliber, but of course you can also use any search engine to reach it, uh, even the search engine inside the FAO.org website. We're actually working on uh, refurbishing, uh, renovating the uh, the website, the, the layout and the look and feel perhaps uh, images, but the content the structure will stay the same. So from classifications, uh, you have uh, a list of all classifications currently uh, disseminated from tools, the main services associated to classifications. Uh, today we are going to look at the Explore, so the uh, Showbox uh, tool for browsing and searching. Um, you can download and in APIs. So you have information about the Sparkle endpoint and how to query online uh, calendar. Resources, you may be interested in the documentation with pointers to uh, uh, the uh, documentation on modeling, or the modeling adopted uh, for, uh, in, for uh, um, serving classifications as uh, linked open data and caliber. Other type of uh, uh, documentation about software, installation, user interface, and so on. And you might also be interested in FAQs. So we collected uh, a few that we hope uh, might be interesting uh, to you. Let's go to the section Explore. So Showbox is our uh, browser of choice. It's a tool, open source tool developed by the University of Tor Vergata in Rome. Um, it's uh, support, it's web-based and support uh, natively uh, RDF and a number of uh, uh, languages of the family like uh, uh, OWL, RDFS and so on. Um, you have, uh, you can use Showbox to uh, look inside, look up for uh, items and codes in the classifications included in Caliper individually, or also at the level of, of all the entire Caliper datasets. So search, and you can also look up for alignments. This, uh, you select the source, and uh, then later also it's a target. But today, now, I want to show you the uh, search and navigation inside the single data sets. Uh, we'll go to FCL. FCL stands for Faustat Commodity List. If you don't know uh, the, uh, the acronym, as you probably don't, you go to Scheme. And scheme uh, in this tab here, you will have, uh, so consider what a scheme is a classification. Make sure that you have uh, uh, this uh, uh, box uh, checked. And on the right, you will have, um, uh, you will find the metadata, we call it a uh, number of uh, pieces of information concerning the classification. Title, history note, version info, uh, top level uh, concepts, uh, publisher, and so on. But to look inside the classification, you go to the top concept, where you have a fairly intuitive, I believe, uh, representation of the classification hierarchy to the left and uh, um, a close look at the you know, individual items to the right hand side. You can control the languages displayed in either side. So for the hierarchy, you click on this a uh, little icon and you have the whole list of the languages all uh, possible not necessarily languages that we have uh, you can select them all or deselect them all and the result would be the same so if you close now and reload you can see that we have we see uh, more languages than before but let's go back to our uh, cleaner, 
this play with only two languages, English and Spanish, so we have reload in here we are. Um, yeah, I'll click on a random concept uh, classification item and I can have um, I can see all information about it on the right side. Uh, most people will likely use the search uh, facility. With the search, you can uh, select, you can set up uh, the uh, your preferences for search. With contains, for example, you will, if you want to look for sugar, uh, you will, uh, you might look for sugar inside in any position in the label, at the beginning of the label, at the end, uh, exactly that label. And then you have a search mode. You can look it up. Uh, you can look up uh, for sugar in a URI, in the local name and notes. Uh, I check them all to make sure that uh, I. Uh, I can capture all items, uh, all relevant items. So search. Oh, I get a, uh, quite a few. Uh, let's say I want to uh, go to sugarcane. OK. Now the uh, software goes to uh, highlights the sugarcane in the hierarchy and uh, as uh, a specific item. Now, here I can, um, I can see there are a few four labels uh, in four languages. I can control the languages displayed here too. I go to the icon uh, setting and uh, let's say I want to uh, English and Spanish only also on this side. OK, and reload. Oh, pay attention to the little filter here because if, uh, if it's not uh, selected, uh, uh, we won't uh, fit. So that, okay, uh, reload. What do I have here? I have, uh, well, I have the URI and um, you can recognize the file classification, MCL and something here. Now, uh, our choice was to use the uh, classification code for the item as very last part, the local part of the URI. Here in the, in the, um, uh, in the tab, uh, this corresponds to the property notation. Uh, so notation is a classification code. What else do they have? I have information about the broader item that I can also see here in the hierarchy. I have a definition. And in this case, I also have a couple of uh, correspondences. Uh, so correspondent concepts in other classifications. I can click on any of those. Let's say sugar cane from WCA, which is the WCA stands for the word sense of agriculture. I click. So this simply tells you that we are going to uh, open a different project. And here I can see something very similar. I have the URI, uh, the label, the notation. Um, from WCA, I also get actually a scientific name for the, uh, uh, the sugar name plant. Okay. Um, I can show you, I will show you more in, uh, in other demos, but right now I reached the 10 minutes allowed for this demo. I hope it was useful and you're very welcome to uh, ask questions through the conference organizers or just drop me a line to my email address um, that you will find in the program too. Thank you.